What is up everybody, it's the Don with the Don Tech, and today I wanted to do something a little bit more on the destructive side because who doesn't like to see what's inside of things? So what I've got here is a laptop hard drive and I just wanted to go ahead and open it up and show you what's inside of a laptop hard drive. So for that, primarily what you need is a laptop hard drive, preferably dead, do not do this on a working drive, and then a nice little screwdriver. This is a Torque screw size six and this is gonna go through and open up all the screws around the edge here. So you just start by removing all the screws and you don't really need to worry about putting this thing back together at all. So feel free to do anything that you wanna do with the screws themselves. You can throw them away, use them for a different project, hang on to them. Once you've got all the screws out, usually you're just able to find some spot where you can go through and just remove the actual metal opening itself. As long as you've got all the screws, it will come right out. So this is that piece right there. It's hermetically sealed, so you don't have to really, you know, no contaminants are gonna get inside there. There's a ton of stuff to learn about the actual drive itself and how it functions. This is just kind of to show what's inside the drive. So you will not need that anymore. And I'm gonna try to do this in a way that doesn't show just nothing but reflections. So inside of a hard drive itself, you've got the following. You've got this section right here. This is gonna be the platter itself. This is what all the data is stored onto. This is extremely delicate of a part and is very subject to a lot of vibrations, a lot of damage, dust particles, easily scratchable on the surface that is usually not able to be seen, but very easily damaged and everything like that. Um, inside here, you've got the spindle itself. You've got the head right here. This is pretty much the reader part, essentially. This is the actuator arm, and then this is the actual actuator itself, and this is a pretty strong magnet. And we're gonna see how far we can actually go to take all of this apart. If we're lucky, the screws are gonna be the same size inside that they were on the outside. And so far, one for one, I'm pretty lucky. I'm just gonna start by taking off the actual magnet itself. I do have some people that like to collect these magnets. They are pretty powerful. So it's something that's kind of cool. Uh, they're not that functional, and I'll show you why in a second, but they're definitely pretty powerful. So that should allow this top piece of the magnet to come out. So. The reason why they're not really that functional is going to be because they're, um, you know, they're definitely strong, but I don't know if you can even see, they're not flat. So you've got this little piece right here of metal that's sticking upward, and they're just not flat, so you can't really use them. I don't have anything really around. This, this actual, this piece might not even have any magnet to it whatsoever. It feels really thin, like it's just actually metal, but they're just not practical, essentially. Next bit that I'm gonna take off here is gonna be what actually connects the hard drive stuff itself to the PCB on the back. So that just connects right there to the PCB on the back, which is pretty much this stuff right here. That kind of tells everything what it needs to do. The distance between the arm and the platters is so thin that it makes a piece of our hair look like rebar steel. So this is what our hair looks like when it's actually gonna be going through in the comparison to how thin the distance between the, the arm and the platter is. It's just ridiculously thin. So and unfortunately I have to put pressure on the actual platter part itself just because I didn't want to have any grimy fingerprints on it, but once you remove this final screw, you'll be able to get the platters out of the actual hard drive itself. Depending on the size of your drive, both physically and in gigs, that will determine how many platters you would have. This one only has one platter, but it's not uncommon for laptop drives to have two platters. These platters are made of glass, so you want to handle them delicately, not in the sense where you're going to shatter it or it's going to you know, cut your fingers by holding it, but if you try to bend it or do something like that, it will shatter, so you wanna be very careful. The desktop ones will actually bend before they break. I'm just gonna tear that off because we don't need that. And let's get this out of here. So they're definitely very delicate to work in. You really, you're never gonna be in a situation where you're gonna open these and reuse them at all. So, you know, this is strictly for fun, strictly, oh, there we go, we've got the screw under here. This is strictly for fun, strictly just to, you know, see what's inside, play with the magnets if you want to, and just to play with the stuff. So there you go, now you've got the actual arm 
and actuator and axis and everything free. So this is that part of the magnet. You can see that bump and everything, not the actual magnetic piece, but they're just not functional. If you do have the ability to trim some of that stuff off and make it a magnet, you can, but you know, it's definitely powerful. And that's essentially what's inside of a hard drive. So these parts are virtually all useless. Um, nothing inside of this, you know, it's, it's extremely delicate as you can see, it's just easily moving there. And they're not necessarily sharp, so you're not gonna really hurt yourself. Um, you can though, because they're pretty thin metals, but not really all that bad. Just be careful when you handle anything with electronics, you know, I mean, destroying a hard drive isn't careful, but you know what I mean. So that's what's inside of the drive itself. Um, and that's pretty much all that we've got. That's a neat little, neat little shot right there. So if you enjoyed seeing what was inside of a hard drive, give this video a like. If you want to see what is inside of a desktop drive, which is spoiler, just pretty much the same, just a little bit, uh, a little bit larger. Let me know in the comments down below. If you have any other questions, let me know as well. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, the Don's got your back.